What is it about simians kidnapping the girlfriends of hard-working blue-collar workers in video games back in the 80s? In Taito's 1982 arcade game Zookeeper, you play Zeke, and you are a zookeeper. Well, it seems that one particularly crafty monkey has escaped and whisked away Zelda, your girlfriend, but not before releasing all the animals in the zoo first. Your job is to recapture all the animals and rescue your betrothed. Not as easy as it sounds. The animals try to escape from a center cage and gnaw the bricks around that keep them inside. As you run around the perimeter of the wall, you repair the holes in the bricks and keep the animals inside. Yeah, you're a zookeeper slash bricklayer. If the animals escape outside the wall, they'll run around the perimeter. Each animal has his own speed and score if you leap over them. Leaping over herds of animals rewards more points. A helpful hint is knowing that escaping animals will always run away from the direction that Zeke is facing, not towards him. At the top of the screen is what looks like to be a fuse timer that'll randomly drop reward items around the perimeter of the wall. But the really big points come in when the net is dropped, and that happens to look like a really big frying pan. If you get a hold of it, netting the rogue animals sends them back inside the walls, and when time expires, the ones that are inside are tallied up and your score advances. As the levels progress, more animals escape, like snakes, elephants, camels, rhinos, moose, mooses? Moose, and really fast lions. And even the walls are missing at the start of some stages, but this is only one third of the game. The designers also added a platform stage where you leap from moving ledge to ledge as you jump with almost moon-like gravity as you climb towards oh-so-sweet Zelda up on top where her monkey captor is tossing coconuts down on you. Now this stage is a set pattern and can be memorized, but until you do, your best bet is to move fast because the more nuts that nut on top drops, the harder it is. The third stage is the escalator stage, where you must jump over rampaging animals and over an electrified cage twice to reach Zelda. The stage is also pattern driven and can be memorized. You'll have to discover exactly where to stand before jumping over the cages because your starting position is critical to make the jump. Now one has to ask, how come these electric cages can't keep these critters in? And why is Zelda repeatedly getting recaptured by Chim Chim? Zookeeper is a very fast game and uses a four-way joystick to control Zeke that sometimes can get hung up on the corners once in a while, but it does make maneuvering once you're in the air very easy. I wonder how the gameplay might have been different if they opted for a trackball instead. Zookeeper is actually one of the few Taito games that was created in the United States. In fact, before the Zookeeper premise was concocted, it was originally slated to be called King Crab, where you controlled a claw-snapping crab trying to keep tadpoles inside of a square. I'm glad they went with the Zookeeper theme. The music is peppy and the sound effects are very original to listen to. Despite being in a drab orange and blue cabinet, it was popular at the arcades and still can be played today on Tato's Legends for PlayStation 2, Xbox, and the PC.